On the 24th of December, to be precise, at 6.47 p.m. on the 24th of December, the heavenly body upon which we depend for our survival began its return to the northern hemisphere. It began its return, to be precise, to Thalaton. There was to be rejoicing. South Lanks man, seen here in the shape of Harold Metcalf, had had his tea and was on his way to the Colmans. He arrived at the precise moment that the earth tilted back a millisecond of an arc, though he never felt it. Anyway, the Coleman was doing his damnedest to push it the other way. Mr. Bennett. Ah, Harold. Your timing is immaculate. I've just finished. Mr. Bennett. Oh, come on, come on, where have you been? Oh, I can't use you. I'm moving. Oh, and don't forget the music. Harold, my lad, you're going to be at man tonight. So you travel with me in cab. Oh, great. Thanks, Mr. Bennett. After you've cranked it up. Come on, you lot. Get on, get on. In back bedrooms are wheezing a tune, a Lancashire lullaby. Fathers in the bathroom washing off all the muck before going out on the air. And stars are shimmering lovely in the oil drips from his truck as the Coleman's party hits the trail. For a thousand years or more, such men have told the tale of how the little infant Christ came. Should reach this far and fail. Guess who? Guess who is gonna blame? Ah, the sound of neighbors' tomcats as they permanently fight, and the diesel fumes that blow by. If you hear some breaking bottles echoing through the night, it's a lavish lullaby. Not licensed for music. What's up, Harold? Why have you come out so soon? Well, there's only two blokes in there. How much did you get? Nothing. Nothing? Well, I felt so daft. Here, I don't know, Arnold. Here. Have a pull at this. It'll happen make you feel braver.
a lot and some of us like Harold shouldn't be let outside oh boy Harold gosh that went down fast I hope you realize your fate is cast oh boy Harold you should have stopped and fought it's not a bad idea as long as you're not caught and I suppose that Bennett would be born. Ah, at last! I'm sorry, he's shivering my wrist off if you don't buck up. <laughs> the vicarage. Oh, boy, Harold, just you wait and see. You hang in this story on this Christmas tree. Happiness is a warm vicarage. The soul of many a young lad must have been saved on occasions such as this down the centuries. The anticipation of those mince pies and the craving for a glass of sherry is almost sinful. Hector. God works in mysterious ways his wonders to perform. Don't know. It'll be safer up here. <sighs> Good evening, Mrs. Swinsbury. <laughs> Merry Christmas to oh, thank you. Thank you, same to you. Come on, lads. Go straight through, boys. A Merry Christmas to you all. Good evening, Harold. Merry Christmas. Good evening, Mrs. Slingsby. Can I use your lavatory? Why, yes. <laughs> You'll find one straight through the back there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's the cold, you know. I do understand. Do come through, won't you? There we are. By the sorry. table? I'm sorry, Vicar. Oh. Here's Mr. Bennett. Ah, good evening, Mr. Bennett. So good of you to come along. We, we do look forward to this, you know. Good evening, Vicar. Well, we try our best to please. Spread a little joy. After all, it is Christmas. Yes, yes, quite so. It is Christmas, as you say. Hey, hey! Uh, look, um, would you care to start? We will now play Ark the Eld. And Arnold shall sing. Uh, come and stand near me, Arnold. There's a good lad. Stand still, Arnold, for crying out loud. <laughs> Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth. Christ is born in 
bag, Sherry? Have the pies boiled yet, my love? Yeah, I don't think so. Now, do try to stay calm, Hector. I'm sorry, I can't help it. They're going to break something. I just know it. There are too many of them there, you know. When two or three are gathered together, dear, remember? Right now, mince pies. Can I give you a hand, Mrs. Slingsby? Uh, I'm sure Mrs. Slingsby can manage, Adult. You sit down. Sit down, Adult. Ow! Ah! Ow! There we are. Sherry? Ow. Spill that on my chair and you'll be in need of the last right. Sherry, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> Thank you, Vicar. Take the tray. Here we are, Sherry. Merry Christmas. I've been a good boy to all my teddy bears. I wouldn't harm a flea. I kiss my mummy and always say my prayers. How come he picks on me? I was always told to have respect for the cloth, but that their reverend's gonna suffer my wrath. I was just standing round trying to please. He goes and takes away my knees. When I get up, I'm gonna tear him limb from limb. Divine chastisement's gonna descend on him. Gonna take a small collection that'll make the parish news. I'm gonna blow away his pews. I hope he's plagued with locusts and frogs and overrun with rats and mice and chased by savage dogs. And come the day of judgment, I'm gonna be there because I'm gonna dig him deeper than he was. When he preaches, he gets hiccup attacks And poltergeists haunt him and break his nicks and knacks And his diocese is atomized, and pestilence is rife And I'll bash him and I'll thrash him and I'll run off with his wife You know, David slew Goliath, well, Harold did to Hector I'll put a cobra in his cassock, excommunicate this rector With his tantalizing wife, I'll have asses milk bath And lots and lots and lots and lots of laughs I could be happy, no need of teddy bear We lie around in consecrated cotton underwear Condemn Slingsby for eternity to itch and twitch and scratch And leave his collar backwards, just turn his head to match Ah, but what the heck, it's the season of goodwill And he might not like it if I wish the vicar ill But all the same I can't help leaving one little curse I hope his cold gets worse What do you think you're playing at, eh? I've never seen anything like it. You're not normally like that. What's got into you? Well, I know what's got into you. Whiskey, beer and sherry. I don't know. And the way you were looking at her legs. Disgraceful. Mr. Bennett. In you go, lad. Mr. Bennett. Go on. Right, lads. Bells at ready. Excuse me, squire. You with them? No, no. You coming in here? Yes. Why? I sing. You sing? Yes. What, uh, Bebop Malula, things like that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, carols. What, oh, carol? No, carols, you know. Oh, like while well, shepherds wash their socks or not? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Bleeding ponce naffle. No, no, no! This could be the highlight of our evening. <laughs> 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 What's your name? Harold. Oh, Harold! Oh, well, Harold, we're all ears. Here. 
No, I've got to go inside and sing. Shut up. Leave it out, Norm. <laughs> I'll have well, shepherds wash their socks, right? Oi, oi! I'll tell you when, Granddad. Granddad! 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 Love you! Shut up! Right, this is your lucky night. Gene Vincent here, <laughs> he's gonna give us a song. Hey! As soon as it's out, it's Christmas. He's gonna give us a carol. Oh, oh, oh. carol. Yeah, yeah, you've just done that. Shut up! Right, tell the old man to start. Stop. Oh, come on. Come on, Norm. You see that, Norm? Shepherds yeah. watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground. The angels of the Lord came down and glory shone around. <laughs> not bad, Harold, not bad. Nah, but do another. Oi, tell Mantovani, another one. Here, another one. Yeah, sure, that's a volume, yeah. crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus. Do you know this one, no? Yeah, Dad. Well, sing out. We Thank you, Dad. The stars in the bright sky look down where they lay. Yeah. The little Lord Jesus has sleep in the Yeah, no. Get little Richard down off there. I reckon they both deserve a drink. <laughs> well, you lot, pass the out round. Not out here. In there, you burks. Get in there. Harold, what do you drink? Halves, pints, shorts. I'm full of vodka, beer, and it's your round. Oh. After you. After you. Angel of the Lord came down, and the narrow story is wrong. <laughs> 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 da, da. <laughs> it's, it's great to meet you, Harold, you know that? It's great, you're one of the boys now. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, but, 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 any trouble, you tell them, Dave will sort them, right? Right, Dave. Right. Any trouble, right? Yeah, right, Dave. Yeah. Dave to you. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, any trouble, uh, Harold, right? Uh, See ya. Good night, Dave. See ya, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da. Good night, Dave. <laughs> See you about Vonnie! <laughs> Wipe that stupid little of your face, Harold! And go and wind it up! Any trouble, right? Get on with you! <laughs> no, 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 Harold. Harold, leave it to Dave. I've got an infinity with motors. Nope. Oh.
Donald, you'd better pull yourself together. We're going to the Côte de Grasse. Mrs. Bulford Browns. Now listen, you lot. I expect a bit of decorum. I deliver coal to this wonderful woman, and I usually get a considerable Christmas handshake. So mind your P's and Q's. Right, Donald. See if you can ring the front doorbell. Wonderful. Hang on, hang on. Good evening, ma'am. I trust that you are well. Good evening, Mr. Burnett. How lovely to see you. Come in. Come into the hall. It's Bennett, ma'am. Uh, Bennett. Come on, lads. Come yeah, in. Come on, in. We're going on. Through here. That's it. Yes, perhaps some of you that side. Would you like to come this side? Thank you. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> now. I'm absolutely delighted you were all able to come. I do so look forward to this Christmas treat every year, and it is always such a polished performance. Uh, Mr. Burnett works frightfully hard on his little coal lorry. I'm surprised he has the time to give you, but he somehow manages to make it special every time. And when we're finished, we're going to have sherry and mince pies. Yes. And this year, we have somebody else to listen. Now, you didn't know that, did you? No. No? Well, Melissa, Melissa, my dear, the bell playing people are here. That's my niece. She's spending Christmas with me this year and is to join our little party. Oh, there you are, my dear. Ark the Herald, and Harold shall sing. Hark the Herald Angel sing, glory to you. Peace on earth and mercy love, God and sinners make on about this. The lad's been given a bit of an hard time in several of the public houses en route. He didn't mean it, I'm sure. No. Still, it won't happen again. No. Ever. <laughs> Perhaps he'd like to go and sit in glory. Are you all right, Melissa? Yes, sir, thank you. Quite all right. Rather exciting, really. Animal. I, uh... I am so sorry, miss. No, no, it's all right, really. Is, uh, Harold all right? Oh. He's fine, thank you, miss. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Perhaps, Mrs. Bulford brown you'd be willing to overlook this little incident, and we'll proceed with the, uh, proceeding, shall we? Very well, Mr. Bennett. I suppose there's no harm done. Bennett, ma'am, it's... Sorry? <laughs> 
cover yourself up, Melissa. You're giving even poor Mr. Burnett palpitations. Do carry on. Yes, very good, ma. Mr. Bennett. I'm better now, Mr. Bennett. I'm very sorry, everybody. I'm better now. That's all right, Harold. Come and sit down. I suppose it's the result of your deprived childhood, scarred by the trauma of poverty, the nightly vision of a mother laid low by gin, being beaten by a brute of a father, home weary from the mines, and his black face lined with rivers of sweat, his broad shoulders bent with toil. I suppose that after years of tearing at the bonds of society, cruelly punished and stripped of all decency, you long to thrust your way into a better life. You want to take, take, take. I want to go and sit in the lorry. Melissa. I'm so sorry. My niece seems a little overexcited herself. I do hope there's no harm done. We're having some drinks on New Year's Eve. Just the vicar and his wife, some of the W.I., and, of course, the Bridge Club. Perhaps you and Mrs. Bennett would care to join us. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Bennett. You shouldn't have, really. Oh, too kind. We'd be delighted. <gasps> Melissa! Sweet child. Yes, isn't she? Yeah. Come, Harold. Let's get you home, lad. Oh, Mr. Bennett. Come on, boys. I am sorry, Mr. Bennett. Uh, not at all, lad. I think I'd better travel home on bucket lorry. I think the fresh air would do me good. Why, of course, Harold. Uh, Terry, drive lorry, will you? And Lou, will you crank it up? being a cold man. I'm not as young as I was. I could use a good lad. And in a few years' time, why? Who knows? It might be you and Mrs. Metcalf having drinks at the manor. <laughs> you never know. What do you say, Harold, eh? What do you say? For a thousand years or more, such men have told the tale of how the little infant Christ came. And if the story somehow should reach this far and fail, guess who, guess who is gonna blame? Ah, the sound of neighbors' tomcats as they permanently fight, and the diesel fumes that float by. If you hear some breaking bottles echoing through the night, it's a Lancashire lullaby. Ooh. 